I'm Keith. I'm Jeffrey. I'm just kidding. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And you're Keith. Good. Welcome, everybody. We're really excited. This is episode two, Keith. We're here. We made it, and we're on the water. Farmington Bay. Farmington Bay. Don't give away our secrets. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. We're not actually out hunting, so it, it's okay. We don't start for another, what, week and a half? Week and a half. October 6th. October 6th is when our season starts. So, so maybe a okay. little early scouting? That's exactly what we're doing. We're doing a little early scouting. Um, so as usual, we're going to be um, taking your questions a little bit later, start getting those in. Um, we're going to go for a little ride and show you how this boat handles in just a second. But we do have some really excellent, 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 excellent prizes that we have to give away today um, from Tangle Free. And we've got some uh, Lucky Duck. We've got all sorts of really great stuff uh, to talk about today. But Keith, in the meantime, though, what's been going on? What's, Not much, just staying busy on the phones. Staying busy Every, on the phones. Everybody getting ready to start hunting, those that are hunting. How how many hours a day do you think you spend actually on the phone? I don't want to know. You don't want to know. I don't want to know. You need like that uh, the Apple app, the new updated Apple app that shows you how many hours you spend on your phone every day? No. You should get that. No. Don't you think? No. No, you don't want to. Don't want to know. All right. Pretty much all day, every day. <laughs> At least five days a week, anyway. At least five days a week. Yeah, eight, so, to four, eight, to, eight to four, eight to four, eight to four thirty. Do you want to just give out your uh, cell phone number right now? Is that not uh, really? But I'll do yours. Well, I mean, you could. No, but I'm never going to answer it. I don't know any of your questions. They won't. They don't want to call me. Um, another thing I want to point out. So we're here on the Salty Assassin, which is our favorite, our brand new boat. Um, this is our 1754 F86, and we've got the. Uh, Mud Buddy HDR 5000 sitting right here behind us. You're the first one to actually run it, Keith. How does it? Uh, how's it feel? Feels really good. We ran the 40 before. 40 runs good. This one's a little bit faster. A little faster. A little smoother. Nice running a motor. It just we're in the typical break-in period. We're a little over one hour, so we're not going to really worry about speed too much until no. we get through our uh, our four or five hour break-in time. Yeah. Make sure we do that and follow the the Mud Buddy procedure there. I got you. So. Because, you know, we're going to be safe and we're going to... Speaking of safety, this year, we talked about this earlier on, but this year we're really uh, going to focus on safety and we're really, I mean, not that we're not safe, but we're, you know, going the extra mile. Because yeah, that water's really deep out there. You know, this water really is. In fact, in fact, show the camera. You can twist that over and, and see really how shallow we really are sitting. And we're about a, what, a foot and a half, two feet of water right now. Yeah, about two feet probably. About two feet. After you sink. <laughs> after after the mud, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so um, that's what's going on. Should we? Uh, you you want to take, take for a ride? You want to go for a ride? Let's go for a quick ride. All right, let's let's take us around. Now, uh, Ambry has my phone. I have I don't have a, a phone with me. So when we get back, I'm going to be able to answer all your questions and give some shout outs and whatnot. We're going to talk about our incredible sponsors that are with us today. Um, in the meantime, I'm really hoping that our Amazing producer Ambry does not drop my phone into this water. So, okay. you know, it might get a little bumpy, it might get a little loud. So, here is the maiden voyage of the Salty Assassin, everybody. Let's hope it all goes well. We've got lots of reeds. This Farmington Bay is such a pretty little area. We love it out here. So, I'm just going to kick back and catch myself a sunset. Yeah, There we are. Woo. So that's just a little ride, you know, just a just a fun little. How does that handle? That's good. So I want to get some more hours on it so we can really see what. So we can do. really pull pull it open. One of the nice things we like about the the pro hole that it's it's so light that it it really is. It's really it's really excellent. I like the open floor plan. A lot you of like room the open to floor plan around when you're riding, when you're driving, and of course. 
in a week and a half all of your gear. All of the gear. Our, our, our gun boxes, which probably going to do something with those next week, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So we got uh, our buddies. Most of us know that we all overload our boats. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we're at four people or 560 pounds. 560 pounds. And I can say we are under the, the four people and under the 560 pounds, even with the three of us in there, because yes. you two are the lightweights. Well, you know me. I'm a, I'm a big chubby. And, uh, um, okay, so I do want to say while we're here, I have uh, still yet to receive one of our... Uh, our uh, uh, what do we call them? Prank. Prank videos. That's exactly uh, with that uh, with that switch. I really want to see those videos, and nobody nobody has sent one of those in yet. Still dying for one of those. I think we had something shh, happen shh, at work, shh, didn't shh, we? Shh, 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 shh. Maybe. I what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. The switch. Something about a something switch. Something about a switch. Yeah. All right. Fine. <laughs> because I brought it up, and I wasn't supposed you to. You weren't supposed but to. It, so. I really do want one. But it actually happened to me. I, I walked out. I walked out to move the motor. And it won't start. And I, I run in. The first thing, of course, I do. I'm like, Keith, Keith, what they they, they unhooked the battery. They unhooked our battery, Keith, because it won't work. And it was the switch. It's that stupid switch. I said, Jeff, check the switch. So flip the switch. It really does work. The prank, it works. It's very good. So I, I still want to see those videos. Send all those in. Um, okay. So Timothy Floyd says hello. Dean Jasper, hello. Jeff Toy. Daryl Louvre, Terry Fallon, Eminem um, &M Marine says shred it, Keith. They hey, want you to shred it. Jeff and the boys at Eminem, &M. great guys, great shop <laughs> yes. in Savannah, Illinois. Absolutely. And hi to everybody else who said hello. We wish you were here with, with us today. Beautiful day. The mosquitoes are flying and biting, but it's a beautiful day here in Utah before the hunt. I think we're going to be the ones hunted. If the weather doesn't get a little bit cooler, we're going to be mosquito yeah. bitten. It is hot out here. <laughs> it is really warm. So you know, it's... All, all of you local Utah guys and anybody where you're warm weather, make sure you have bug spray in your hunting box. Yes. Just for... Absolutely. Just for emergency purposes. Just for emergencies. Absolutely. Bob Dreyer's on. He's a little sad. He's uh, he's only on a lunch break. So Bob, you'll have to watch it later. Sorry, Bob. When we when we do, which it will be on YouTube. YouTube it will be one of the best places to watch it. I like to you know cut it together a little bit better. Get rid of all the stupid stuff that Keith says, and <laughs> uh, you know put some <laughs> put some uh, good stuff on it. So you know Jeff, definitely check that out. That'll be on the Mud Buddies YouTube channel probably by the end of the day or first thing tomorrow. Um, I've got Travis Gatewood on. He asks, do you have to run the motor in the water for break-in period, or can you let it idle while trailered? Or do you need to run it in the water? In the water. Yeah, not trailered, not sitting in the yard, just idling. Yeah. You need to take it out and run it. Yes. Absolutely. Hunter Dillon, hey, from Michigan. I've got Randall Martin, easy day on the job. This is hard work. Randall, Randall, I don't want to hear knew, any of that. If you only knew how hard it was, Randall. <laughs> I know Randall's got a hard job because he's out. He's an oil rigger. He's out in the oil fields in Texas, so he's he's got a hard job. Okay, and so he does have a hard. It job, is hard so. being here today. It's so hot out here. It's, I'm just kidding. It's it's really lovely, and I we are so lucky. Big thanks to everybody at Mud Buddy and XL because they they let us come out here and. Uh, make these make these videos. So have a little fun. Have a little while fun working. while they're working. So everybody back at the office. Hello. <laughs> Swiftwater is on. Hey guys, looks like a great day. Uh, we love the people at Swiftwater. They're all really great over there. They're a lot of awesome videos and stuff that they oh, post man. on their page. They do some and really hunting great stuff. and stuff. So absolutely, we're doing a little early scouting. A little early scouting. Working. I haven't seen a whole lot. On the drive-in, we saw quite a few, but... Oh, man, there were a bunch over I there. I haven't seen much since No, then. it's too hot right now. They're, they're all, they're they're all hanging out. Sitting in the warm water, resting. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about here. You hold on to that. I'm going to run over and grab um, for our sponsors today for this episode. Amber's holding up my, my excellent paper. Echo Calls, Tangle Free, XL Boats, and Lucky Duck. These are our four big sponsors for this episode. We always have a whole bunch and we love everybody that has helped us out, but uh, those are the first. So I, I like that first question from here. Let me see that. Who, I would ask you to read it, but I know you I, can't see I don't see have my glasses You don't have your glasses the office on. with my phone. Um, Travis Gatewood, um, your question about um, running it either in the water or trailer, and it does need to be in the water. 
Um, what are we giving? I'm gonna go with the yes. Lucky Duck Tumbler. This is a Lucky Duck Tumbler. Uh, Travis, that is for you. I, in fact, I have one of these, and so does Ambry. They're really, really awesome, and it's got a deep sticker in it. I don't have one. You don't have one. No. But I have a deep hat. You do have a deep hat. Good for go you. To go along with your deep sticker. Uh, but these oh. are really awesome. Uh, Travis, there will be a link posted on this that you can go to, um, and then you put in your information. We'll get that sent off to you. Awesome. Thank you for your question. Um, and we're going to get that sent off to you right away. Uh, Stephen Cross in Oklahoma. Hey, what Oklahoma. is going on? Love them Sooners. Swiftwater saying their, uh, their season opens on Saturday. Oh, lucky, lucky you guys. Yeah, that's good. Ours, yeah, ours is not until the 6th. Nope. So we got another week and a half or so. Kid, kid hunt was last weekend. That's right, we had the youth hunt the youth last hunt. last weekend. Yes. So so Dave, who you will see on here occasionally, he took his kids out. Had a, they had a pretty good time. Okay, I'm glad they, they was, did. They said it's still hot. It's really, yes. really hot. So they only got a few. Bug spray, sunblock. Yeah, yeah all Essentials of Essentials in Utah. Honestly opening day for hunting yeah um randall martin oil field and boat work when off hope all is well guys randall you're the man we really appreciate it and all your you know hard work so some of us don't have to yes exactly yeah exactly um okay did you see all these bugs i'm telling you they're really bad um, I got to say, well, it's a horse fly. It's a horse fly. It's going to chew me up. <laughs> fly away with me. <laughs> See you, Joe. Oh, my God. You got to love nature, right? Do you? No, I'm just kidding. I really do. Well, as long as it's biting you, <laughs> no, not me. I know. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about it. Nick Johnson asks, what size of boat and motor? We're running a 1754 F86 Pro Hull Series with the new... Mud Buddy HDR 5000. So we're putting out 50 to 52 horsepower. Uh, we'll yeah. be able to use it to its full potential for probably a few more hours. Get some more time on it. Animals maiden voyages, you can only do so much. And yeah, we're breaking it in. We're breaking it in. It's a good time. Um, Nick, for that, thank you for letting us letting us brag about our boat. So I'm going to send you the Sitka hat with the XL logo on the side. That is for you. Keep an eye out. We're going to post this link here in just a second uh, that you can go to and put in your information. Nick Johnson, that is for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Okay, Jeff Toy. Uh, hey, guys, really enjoy the live show. I will give you everything. I love it when they say that. It's, they, know, they, know how to, they know how to get to me. Um... I just bought a 5000 HDR and really am loving it. Is there anything besides the belt tension tool I should buy that commonly could leave you non-operational or commonly might need for maintenance and spare parts? Um, that's a great tool it's to have. A, that is a really good tool there's, to have. There's a lot of more people out there in Facebook land who need that tool. Yes. So give the boys at BPS a call, uh -huh. have them hook you up with that. Um, just That's a great tool to have in your toolbox. Oil filter plugs for tune-ups. Check the belt about every 50 hours. Should be yeah. good. But, you know, it's also really wise to have just some regular tools with you. A screwdriver uh, is a couple kind of, of a must. A Phillips, a flathead, a couple wrenches, just some tools so when we're yeah. trying to help you, yes. so we that, can help you help yourself. That's my question. How many times a season does somebody call you stuck out in the water, needing a little advice, a little help, and you can't help them because... There are no tools on board. I don't have a clue. Too many. Too many. And it's simple little things. Switches, little things. Very seldom is it catastrophic. It's right. usually the minor little things. Broken wire, something come unplugged. But if you don't have your Phillips screwdriver, you're not going to tear this football apart and be able to fix a lot of your electrical problems right here. Right. So you need to have something. Some, some tools. Yeah. I mean, you don't need your big snap on roll away toolbox but you need a little a little uh, dry box would be wonderful yes absolutely okay uh, uh, ricky's a little mad for those of you who watched our first episode yesterday ricky is on here when he should be working yeah why aren't you working why aren't you working um get back to work but he says yeah really hard work be safe treat your new motor nicely we will we're doing our very best. We're going to treat it with love. We love this motor. We're not going to do anything to me. We're going right. to follow procedures. Follow to break procedure, in. and at ten hours, we will let you change the oil. Yes, absolutely. Um, Jeff Mulnick's great weather. Hey, from Delaware, from Casey Morgan. Hey, Casey. Um, 
Okay, Daniel Lee asks, what RPM should my 40 EFI run at full throttle? Uh, you're going to be in the 42, 4300 range uh -huh. in the water. Out of the water, it'll, it'll bang the river rev limiter all day long. In the water, you're going to be in the you know low to mid 4000 range right. on that. A little bit higher if you got a wear out prop because that's a good indication when your prop's wearing out that your, your speed drops and your RPMs go up. So remember that out there. That's a good way to tell when you need to replace that prop. You got it. Uh, yes, absolutely. Just looking through more. I got some more stuff to give Ooh, away. Do you? Yeah. Okay, how about, I like this one, Bradley Sneed. What's different on the new boat? So let's talk about this boat a little bit. Show them what we got going on on the insides and all about this boat. So we're driving around in a 1754 XL F86 Pro Hull. We've got the wide open. Yeah, uh, see if you box. can get a nice kind of up, up top shot. I want to show that. Let me get out of the way. Yes. Let's see if we can tip this boat with... With a, <laughs> no, let's not. Cause you've got get, waders on and I don't. Well, so and Amber's holding my phone. We've got a camoed gun box that you can get. It's an accessory yes. that you can add on to this. We have so much. So we're much all a mess here. I stuff on it. One of my favorites. Yes, this We've right here. We've got the Orca cooler with the nice Excel pad on it. Really comfortable when you're riding. And it'll store your beverages or whatever else you need to store yes. when you're out on the hunt. Exactly. It could be a little pre prep food. So when you pull out your little camp chef stuff, a little lunchtime, if it's hunting's a little slow, you've got some you got some stuff stored away in your orca cooler. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty basic it's pretty, layout. Yeah, it which is. It's, it's meant to be. It's meant to, uh, to keep the weight down, to keep a lot of space available for all of our gear and whatnot. We've, of course, got the light up front. Um, we've got a little extra chair here. A little extra chair for Ambry. A little seat for Ambry, which is fun. Uh, but other than that, that's really it. It's a really beautiful, excellent uh, little ride that we're really happy about it. Logan, who you saw driving by earlier on, he calls this one the Ferrari of duck boats because it's light and maneuvers so well, and especially with this big old uh, this big old motor on it. Um, let's see. It was Bradley Sneed. Bradley, we're going to hook you up with a Tangle Free Optifade Marsh duck strap. So make sure you come back on there, grab the link. It'll ask you some information where we can send this to you. So we got to thank our guys at Tangle Free. They really stepped up, gave us some cool what? stuff to give away. They and we are really appreciate awesome. them for that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, Stephen Cross, bug spray is a must. Definitely. Stephen, you are wise. Wise, wise. Um, Hunter, I'm in love with my 5,000. Can't wait to get the break-in done. Only a few hours to go. I, we feel we, your pain. Yes, we, I know exactly how you feel right now. Um, Stephen Cross, what prop are you guys running? We're running the big blade. Yeah, we're on a big blade. We're on a big blade. Yep. Yeah, and it's it's great. So far, so good. So I mean, far, we so don't good. have it at top speed yet because no. we're breaking it in. But. A few more hours. It'll get there. Well, it'll get there. A couple more trips to Farmington Bay for oh, work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we just got to keep working as hard as we are working right now. Exactly. Then we'll get all our hours in. Um, should the prop, this is Rod Loeffler, should the prop on the motor be able to come out of the water when the motor is trimmed up completely? It depends on what motor you have. Some of the older ones would only come out of the water so far. They didn't have the travel like the new Mercury ones. And some of the older Bears and Thompsons would not come up all the way completely out of the water. But good enough when you got to put it on the trailer and trailer and all that stuff. But right. The new Mercury's will they'll drop all the way down and come up all the way out of the water. So yeah. big improvement there. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Casey says I keep an extra prop and, and uh, with me just in case. Yeah. Casey spins it off. Yes. Smart. Okay, Cody Emerson just bought an XL1754 F86. What? There you go. With the mud body, I'm loving it. Breaking in Delaware September teal season. Oh. Yeah. Send just me some pictures. I want to see. Any kind Cody, of season send, would yes. be good. Cody, send me some pictures of that. I love it. Uh, it's kind of hard sitting here listening to people out there hunting and we're just sweating <laughs> with no hunting. Uh -huh. Okay. Got a good question for my next giveaway? Um, I'm reading Nick Johnson's question. Uh, do y'all know of any 1860 flat bottoms 
with a 37 horsepower EFI stock. I have one top speed with me, and my dog is 26. I'm not sure. Nick, clarify that question for me so we can get that answer. I think he's wondering maybe top speed for a 37 EFI with a 1860. Um, Nick, uh, take it out and run it. See what your RPMs are. Email me at Keith at mudbuddy.com or give me a call. My office number is 801-617-1083. I thought you were going to get through that all the way. I was just I was like, doing wow. it. Wow. I was like, wow, he's going to be able to use that was. number. I just Aww. wanted to do that just to see your reaction. Uh -huh. uh, what is it, Jeff? <laughs> um, Casey Morgan, how much does the motor weigh? You're roughly a little over 300 pounds. Yes. I don't know right off. Oh, um, Stephen Cross asks, what seat is that? Let's get a close-up of this. Uh, this is the Orca cooler that we were just talking about. This is a Orca seat cooler. It's got a bracket that holds it into place, and then it's got the XL cushion on top. And we put the bungee cords on for traveling down the road. Unfortunately, ours is completely empty right and it's, now. What is that? What? Oh man! Apparently, we forgot to go to we the store this we morning. We did not plan. I know we didn't. We didn't get our ice and our beverages. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> Charlie McRae says, mosquitoes, question mark, question mark. Boys, you need to come to the coast in Texas. We have mosquitoes the size of teal. <laughs> no. I believe no you. Um, he's got a 2005 XL 1754. Can you buy a center console from Excel to convert it? Good question. That is a good question. And I don't think we in this boat right now are qualified to answer that question. No, I would call Dave, Dave Reynolds. So if you call 801-352-8011, when you talk to Alicia, ask her for Dave Reynolds. He's the Excel boat guy. I would believe there's something available, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I don't want to give you anything wrong on that one. It's very possible that, uh, that they could, um, but Dave will know. He'll be able to really get you uh, set up with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, a lot of people are loving that seat. We also, I, I mean, it's comfortable. You it's haven't let me sit on it yet because you you're drive, the old you guy. You can drive I know it's going to be my turn here in a second. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to drive this. I'm going to ride with Logan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think that's oh, about it. Some, uh... get, us, get us the rest of your questions. We're going to wrap this up. Um, Charlie McRae, um, let's do... That oh. hat and that all together. We'll okay, do, we'll, we'll do, do that, that together, and that should that should wrap oh. us up, I think. You almost see Keith fall over. Fall in the water. Who wants to see Keith fall over? <laughs> yeah, not me. I got yes. my phone in my pocket. <laughs> so we've got a Tangle Free hat from the guys at Tangle Free, one of our big sponsors today, and we're all hoping for Mallard Madness here in Utah in a week and a half. I want to thank the boys from Echo, Rick Dunn, and the boys for all of their hard work and their yes. BBDs and their calls. Absolutely. So we'll be looking for. I'm sure it's probably Mallard Madness 13 coming up this season. Absolutely. This so season. yes. So they are going to be doing that. But the other thing is that um, um, Freddie. Freddie, thank you. I hope Freddie's not watching. Sorry, Freddie. Uh, so Freddie and the boys at Echo Call, they're actually going to be doing a whole series um, on our YouTube channel. Sweet. Which will be really excellent. They're going to be doing a lot of just kind of tips and tricks for duck calling, and they'll probably get into some etiquette and all just sort of living life duck hunting wise. Um, I that's all I know. They're they're still in the planning stage. Still of that. Planning. that should be coming probably towards the end of the end of the season. I would think is good. when that will launch. Be so good that's to hear exciting. From them guys. Oh yeah, those guys know a lot. They're really excellent. Um, but Charlie, that was you. Thank you so much for your for your question for watching. Uh, okay, let's see. Logan Sam's bought a 26 horsepower surface drive last week. Scouting for wood ducks tonight. Duck opener this Saturday. Can't wait. Hey, I don't want to hear about you guys shooting ducks already, man. No, no, we do. We want the pictures. I just asked everybody. I want pictures. Send <laughs> those in. Send, send photos. Don't want to hear about it until next Saturday when we're a week from Saturday. Yes. When we get to go out and get eaten by mosquitoes. Trevin Ola wants to see the rooster tail. Um... Keep an eye out on pictures. I'll, I'll post some. Post some rooster as tail. Go, I'm shooting, Not going to be what it should be because we're trying to keep it'll it half throttle little, and lower. It'll be just a little one. But maybe you, one. we'll show you some of uh, some of Logan's as well. Logan has broken his boat in. I want to say broken. <laughs> broken? It's just kidding. Uh, Josh Landtrip, good looking boat and motor. 
Um, Brian, oh, I'm not even going to attempt that last name. He says, how's the stability moving all over the boat when we're walking all over it? Uh, this is really good in this one. I think it's really good. In fact, better than our old dearly departed boat. Yes. Which is probably somewhere around here. It's in the Utah area. Oh, it is. Man. Maybe somebody will see it on I know, opening you, day. Or maybe they're watching. If they're watching, if you have our boat, if you're in Utah and you bought that boat, please call me. Have fun. And Enjoy have fun because it, it send do. me pictures. Absolutely. But it's really good. I think the stability is really, really great. Um, let's see. How stable is the boat? Oh, that's another question. Stability. So it's a it's a seventeen fifty four Corey Arnt Arnett. I'm so bad with last names. I'm not gonna try. So don't let me. I'm sorry. I apologize to everybody. Uh, but yeah, really stable, seventeen feet long. It's really really excellent. And Rob Rapson, watch out for those horse flies. And I'm going to. Uh, thank you everybody. We're gonna call it right here. Uh, thank you for watching. Next week we have a really fun challenge. Uh, then I think it, an event. I an know event. If it's a challenge. We're going to be going through. Different. Is what we're going to do. We're going to start looking into some of um, some of our employees, some of our people around. We're going to be looking into gun box, what they've got in their gun box. It's going to be amazing. Not we're not only, letting them get into it, so we're not going to let them like pre-plan or or fix it up for us. But we're going to sneak into some people's gun boxes next week. Not only what's in there, but why is it? But in why there? exactly? So. Uh, that's going to be really fun. That'll be next Wednesday. That'll probably be about 3 o'clock on Wednesday. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Does that mean we're going to be at the shop? Yes. Oh, okay. We're going to be at our shop. We're not going to be out on the water. No. No early scouting? No early scouting. This is your chance. Um, but that's going to be really, really fun. So tune in next week, 3 o'clock on Wednesday. Join us in the shallow water. It's going to be really excellent. Again, a big shout-out to our sponsors. Oh, and another shout-out uh, uh, to... Man, my brain is like mush out here in this sun. It's like melting. <laughs> it's really excellent. It is warm. At Carousel Hats, David oh, yes. Carousel Hats redid our logo. In fact, um, Amber, turn around and show everybody our logo. They just re. Oh, our boat is so messy. All my camera stuff is over there. But he just put in our logo on the boat just this morning, right before we headed out. They're so great. Uh, really big deal. We love them and all the work that they do. Um, Echo Calls, Lucky Duck. XL Boats, and of course, who did I miss? Tangle Free. Tangle Free. We love the guys at Tangle Free I, and everywhere else. Oh, and Deep. We got some Deep stuff on right now, too, that we really love. They're so great for all of us. Um, so, yeah. Any last? Did I miss anything? No. All of you who get to go out shooting this week, be safe. Have a great time. Meet your limits. Yes. Bag out. Bag out. Bag out. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. Peace out.